Hi everyone. Today we are going to do starfish ribbon. So um, there is a variety. If you look on the um, on the site under the S's under star, there's starfish uh, barrel. There's starfish double barrel. There's there's a bunch of starfish um, and. Uh, starfish ribbon is one of the they're all inspired similarly <clears throat> this is by Nicole Dreyer so the first step we're going to do looks like we're gonna uh, you want some place for your um, ribbon to kind of land which is going to be a pencil line if you want it to be if you have some other tangle that this is attaching to well then that's what that would be okay so we're going to do these little uh, upward, slightly arched uh, lines like that. And then, whoa, what happened to my voice? And then we're going to have two more in here graduating so that this is the biggest one, the next one, and the next one. They get a little bit smaller as they go. And then step three, we're going to take this and we're going to come around and we're going to make on the you see how that shape is? This is straight. This is straight, and then this is a curve. This one's not, I mean, not straight, straight, but you, you, can, you know what I mean, right? This is more of a curve, like a kind of a leaf shape. And then, and then you'll fill in a second one right next to that, like that. So we want to fill those in. So this one is, is three, and then that one is six, right? And then, this is the fun part. Then you keep going here. So you've done your, your six, and then you just keep going here until you've filled up the space. Well, over here then it will be behind that you'll keep going here and go behind go behind like that so it ends up looking like that that's what we're going for and in a ribbon shape you can make it go any direction that you want It'd be easier doing it on the outside clearly than on the inside um, of a shape like that, but you could do it on the inside. It would work. So that's what we're aiming for. Let me turn on my light. Pardon me. It's going to go bright here for just a second. All right. There you go. Um, to decide how I want to draw this. And what I want to do, do I want to do it as a, I'm trying to continue with my Christmassy sort of theme. I wonder what it would look like if I did a triangle as my, as my base of this. like that. Maybe bigger. Maybe maybe more like this, a nice skinny triangle. I need it skinnier. And taller. Would that make a sort of a tree-like thing if I did that? Sort of a Christmas tree if I did the this thing all the way around like that. I'm going to give that a go. Why not? Okay. So, I think maybe I will want to draw this in green. I have a green in here somewhere. There's green. Good 
be inspired by trees. Okay, so first step, we're going to get a little closer here and going to go like this. Something like that. I'm thinking maybe they should have all gone that way. Too late now. I've done what I've done. Okay, so can we put two more in there like that? Where they get gradually a little bit smaller. like so. And then we do this shape. Like that. We are having a very blustery day today. Oh my goodness, yes. Winds are blowing a good consistent 25 to 35 miles per hour. And we've been having gusts in upwards of 60 miles an hour. The neighbors back fence blew down. Well, that's, I guess it's our fence. The fence between us and the neighbor behind us. Big chunk of it blew down. Um, that would be why we want to get a block wall back there. I guess it's a good thing uh, because that will help us when we talk to the neighbor and ask them if they would like to uh, help share some of the expense in putting in this wall. I, I know it's really expensive and they may not have the money and that's fine. We're going to do it anyway, but it would be nice if they could pitch in what they can. Okay, and then the rest of this comes down in sort of a shell-like manner until you come down kind of like that filling in that space like that and like i said i probably should have had them all going one way up this tree either all going down or all going up. But for some reason, I didn't think about that until after I'd already drawn that initial line. So we'll just see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? It will look a little funny, right? That's the worst that can happen.
Those are a lot further apart, seems like. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only ended up with three on this side instead of four, so they're a little bit further apart, too. So they're going to look a little different on this side. That's okay. Stupid crazy winds. When the wind blows like this, my uh Okay, well that's different. At my store our our door faces north and the winds blow from the north to the south, so the wind comes straight in the front door and we can't the door doesn't function. If I'm going to put thinking where'd my red go? I had red. There's red. Oh, I need to erase because I can see that pencil through the red. I don't want to see the pencil. And I think I might get rid of the border. I'm just going to leave it borderless. Okay. But yeah, the 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 door doesn't function in the wind because it's too much pressure on the door, so it won't go open and close. So we have to leave the door propped open. So, oh my gosh. crazy with that much wind blowing into the store customers are why don't you close the door we can't well we can we can close the door the door closes but then it won't open again so the customers can't get in so to have it open in here. Oops. I don't know if you can hear the howling wind. It's coming in through the kitchen window. You can very loud.
that. There we go. Quite festive. All right, fill it. Maybe some other colors for Christmas balls. Maybe some blue. Okay. Is that enough? Looks funny with it out without some on the outside. Fingers are cold. It's hard to draw when my fingers are cold. More red. That'll do. This was, what was this? Starfish ribbon. And a little bit of shading, just a tad. Just gonna do Actually, I think I'm just going to put the pencil here and then I'm going to use what's left on the stump to do this little bit right in here. Maybe just to put a little bit, not much. I don't want to over, overwhelm it and make it too muddy. the wrong size stump. There we go, that's better. I 
I don't think I quite have enough there. I was afraid I was going to get it too muddy, but I, don't, I think I didn't get quite enough. So I'm going to have to come back. And just in the spots right there. Middles are okay, but I think I don't have quite enough overlap here. You don't see the overlap well enough because I don't have it dark. It needs to be a little bit darker right there. Just in the overlap. I was just afraid of overwhelming the, the tile, but I guess I shouldn't have been afraid. Okay, better. All right, I think I'm done for the day. Uh, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to, I don't know, still don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, get to where I'm caught up with the daily patterns. I'm gonna try really, really hard, but I don't, don't know. I think it's not gonna happen until January. I. I I just I don't I don't see it happening. I'm gonna have this contractor here for. Well, he said he would take three to six weeks to do the bathroom, and we don't have that long before Christmas. So, yeah. Um, by the time you see this, it will be close to Christmas, and I am hoping he will be close to done. I don't know. We will see how it happens. So give, give me a little prayer if you would uh, be so kind as to having him completed at least enough in the bathroom so that, uh, you know, when we have people here for the holidays between Christmas and New Year's, that um, they have a functioning toilet and a functioning uh, sink and a functioning shower. I don't care if it's painted and I don't care if the towel racks are up or any of the finishing, you know, things. It just needs to, yeah, it just needs to function. All right, I will see you guys later. The contractor should be here in a moment. Bye.